opening morning in Montana and this is a blind we set up yesterday. We've got some mule deer out the back of the blind already. We are actually set up to shoot out the front gate out here on this alfalfa about 150, 200 yards out. We've already seen a mule deer right at first light. We really weren't even ready yet. We're gonna get set up. The plan is that these feed out towards that front gate, but we were hoping they'd come around this way, but they're actually right out here to the side. We're hoping to put this new PSE to work again. set to go here in Montana. All right, we got a muley coming down the front of the blind right over here. A new buck just must have been bedded in this back corner. He's coming real tall. Big two by three. He's coming right around this side. Let's see what this one's doing. Oh, dude, he's right here, he's right here, he's right Opening morning, dude. Ten, that was like 10 feet. 10 feet, dude. Oh, what an awesome muley that was. Crazy. I haven't even, I mean, haven't even been able to sip a coffee. Haven't even been able to see the sun come up all the way. This is crazy. This buck was all the way back. We were planning on having a shot over here the whole time coming out that gate heading up into the buttes and then at first light they're back in that back corner start feeding across watching this buck watching this buck and Caleb thought maybe he saw some turkeys in this back field I turned to look and all of a sudden I just see this huge rack just coming coming with that sunrise right behind him and sitting there watching that thing debating whether i should shoot him in my mind i'm just processing and here's that muley that we originally saw with our binoculars could barely see him in the light literally came up and i could hear him eating comes right here at 10 yards or 10 feet really and he's down right right out the corner of the window right there Tagged out in Montana. One, two, three, let's call it three and a half. Ten feet. Ten feet and trying to and right here is blood. I already got blood. Just ridiculous blood trail coming through. Right there is my arrow. This has been an amazing 24 hours. I literally shot an antelope in South Dakota 
yesterday. We drove to Montana, got here late last night, and now this is just a bow hunter's dream. What an, oh, what an unbelievable muley. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. Amazing. Opening day in Montana, opening morning, 10 feet. And I'll tell you what, this was just a perfect plan that came together too because I've hunted muleys in this field before and normally it's just a huge lush alfalfa field where I've got some permission and this year it's so dry that there's literally three green pockets about the size of a pool. That's all there is. And we got the blind on the last green pocket before the gate heading out. A lot of times if there's a heavy, this is a big hog wire fence, if you can have a gate and open it up ahead of time, these bucks, if they're on a pattern, they use those easy routes. And man, I'll tell you what, just to recap how this played out, we got in really early and as it got light, we saw this guy at about 150 yards out there and I was worried about, I was worried about our wind a little bit. And then just as the sun started to crack, I saw this guy look out the back of our blind in that direction. I looked out the back and here's just this giant gnarly two by three. And I was seriously debating shooting that deer. We filmed him and I realized he was coming in and we were probably gonna get a shot. I reached down and grabbed my bow picked my bow up and as I came up in the window I just my eyes got massive and I saw this huge buck right here coming in and stop at 10 feet and I just looked at Caleb like are you getting this and you know of course he's getting it and this buck just sat there I waited till something got his attention he looked away for a second I drew back as slow as I possibly could and was able to just make an awesome shot. The entire scope was just filled with all this old gray muley hide and I just put my pin right on the heart and just put both legs pinned together with that axis. What an awesome hunt, loving how this bow's shooting and what an amazing deer 2020 has been a crazy crazy year for everybody on the planet and i'm so thankful as a bow hunter to be able to come out here enjoy a sunrise enjoy just the solitude of these montana buttes and just an amazing mule deer thankful thankful thanks caleb for being with me again buddy